Hello and welcome to another video. He's indoors this time because the weather in the UK at the moment is atrocious and it's going to continue to be atrocious for the foreseeable. We're indoors, we're here's indoors. What we're going to have a look at today is this, the Zebra Billy Can. Woo! I often get asked, what size is your, your Billy Can or your pot? What make is it, this, that, and the other. The pot I use is the Zebra Billy Can 14 centimeters. And as you can see, it's been through it. <laughs> That's had some fire through it, is that like? That has filled many a belly as well. I've had it for years and it's still not warped, despite the amount of heat I've put through it. It's 14 by 14 on the internal dimensions there. And it's polished stainless steel, despite what it looks like now. It, come, it weighs 730 grams, so I don't think that's too bad. Plus, you can put stuff inside it so it's not taking up too much room in your bag. We're gonna take a look at this Rah, as well. Me new, improved, not improved, upgraded, not in upgraded, just something to use as well as the 14. And this is my new 16 centimeter. And the reason I got this was so that I could flip it on its side and use it as an oven to bake breads and cakes and roast meats, whatever it may be, whatever tickles my taste buds. But with that comes a problem because, well, the Billy Can I bought, when you buy it online, it comes with plastic clips and plastic doesn't fare too well in fire, apparently. Something to do with science, I think. So, we need to make some metal clips for the billy can so that I can turn it into an oven and use things like this. A little bread tin, which will go in the oven. I'll fly through this pretty fast, or as fast as uh, I can, because there are people that will have just clicked on the video just to see how to do this bit. Try and not waffle so much. We're going to make a clip. We're going to quickly make a clip now for this, and then I'll... Uh, I'll make one, <laughs> just to show you how to do it. So if it does come with the plastic clips, you can just trace around the clips. Just use your, your metal rod. This is a two millimeter stainless steel rod that I got off Tinternet. I shall leave a link below. I was gonna hold that up to the camera there, but there's no need, you know what a, a two mil metal rod looks like. You can use all sorts of stuff. Whatever you've got kicking about, some paint, Cans, you use metal hangers or holders or handles. You could use that. You can use brick ties if you're a, I'm a, I'm a builder, like, well, landscaper, so I have brick ties for walling and stuff. You could use them. But I just found them a little bit thick. But, um, so these two mil I find is the sweet spot. Not too weak, but easily workable. So let's work it. What I would normally do is have my plastic clips and then trace around it using this, but I'm just gonna do it by eye. I'm not even gonna use my tape measure because it's only a little project, isn't it? Only a little project. It's not like we're building a massive garden. Right, so I've got my vise. We've all got our vices here, though. And I've got my Sharpie and I've got my Shacademus. So. <laughs> Right, let's crack on. Do it quickly. So we're going to need a little, a little, uh, a little bit to go in these holes. Come on, facial issues. Come on, focus, 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 Danielson. Come on. It has little holes anyway at the sides here, which these will go into. So you want a little bit, just a little bit. Let's mark it anyway, because to be on the safe side, about there. Uh, do that your fingers a little bit, so you maybe want to employ a little bit of a little bit of muscle. As I go, mark it with my mark it with the sharpie as I go. So it's coming up here and then it's curving over. So I want to give it a little bit of extra length just to account for the for the curve of the clip. Not too much though, I don't want it to be loose. Let's see about there for the top of it. So, diddle da I'll come that way. Right, 
you see, and then have a little, another little look. So as you see, it comes up just nicely there, and then how far is it coming off it? I'll eye it in, just eyeball it in, nice and easy. What you want to do as well is keep it so that when the handle comes up, the handle keeps the the it in place, so you don't want it that much wider than your handle actually. Do it sideways here so you can get, actually get it in. But it should be right as long as it's tight enough, mate. About there, let's go for that, yeah? Right, right might need to employ a little bit of muscle. So, just grab whatever you've got to hand. I've got my big, <laughs> My big splitting axe, which is uh, I use at home for my wood, just to give you a little bit of, give you a bit more control over it. There we go. Cheers, splitting axe. Opposite side, accounting for the bend, about there. I'd say about there, mate. It's easy with hands, you don't really even need axe, do you? Now this bit you, bit you do need a little bit of muscle for, to get this top bit over, the clip bit. Or you can use whatever you want, you don't have to use a big axe. But, I have. But I have. There you go. And then I find it, while it's in there, if you just squash it together as well. And that's that, so that didn't take me long at all to do that one. You see it? You see it on its side there? Come on, focus. And then once I lift the handle up, bang. So it will, I mean, that's just one of them. So that's keeping the handle in place and it's keeping the lid on pretty tight. And so, I can just pull that down and the clip will fall. Do that again. <laughs> just main, get my head out of the road. So, pull it down and the clip just falls up and it clips on again. As you can see, I've made some bigger clips for the 16 centimeters, so that's not going anywhere. And they're fireproof. There you go. These things you can get, you can pick these things up uh, online for around six quid for ten. So you get plenty of them, and each one will make you a clip. So you've essentially got ten clips there. And yeah, so I'll leave a link actually. I'll leave a link for these, the ones that are used anyway. I'll leave a link for these below the video. I'll also leave a link for both the Billy cans below as well if you want to check them out and stay tuned. We were supposed to be going camping. I was supposed to be going camping with Joey D today and we were gonna use the 16 centimeter as an oven to cook up a storm, but looks like the storm cooked us. <laughs> Too windy, mate, we sacked it. So we'll live to fight another day. So stay tuned. I'm sorry it was just a, a haze indoors video. I, uh, I appreciate all the support as always, and I'll see you soon for a proper outdoorsy camping video. I wish you nout but love, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Au revoir for now.